Hi friends, today I make just simple test for my Nikon Z8. I put the best video quality and try all my C uh, CF Express Type B cards. Can they write this huge amount of data to them? For example, I take a card. I put it inside. Uh, here is my video settings. I put NRAV 2 bit, NEF, and log 8.3K, like the biggest quality I have here. High video quality. You can see all settings here. And here, here you can see it can write like 11 minutes only and I put record. And you can see after one second it just show recording interrupted because card speed is slower than the camera is writing to it. For example, one more writing, one second and it's done. This is how I done this test to all my cards and let's see the test results. Okay, let's put it like this one. If the card was full, I take my temperature measurement and see the card temperature. It is interesting to see which card is like hot because if card can pass this writing speed the card becomes very hot it is you need to understand that the fastest speed the the hottest card will be at the end okay let's start from the worthest one here is pair gear it was like cheap CF express card you can see they write on a card like Max Reed, but for us it's interesting uh, write speed. Sometimes cards write like a best write speed they have, but you will see in this test it's it's not working. You need to see su sustain write speed, and they're writing 200 megabytes per second. And if we have that speed after one second, it is interrupted. Who is interesting? Uh, or want to compare XQD cards they are the same in this range they are a little bit slower but it's very close to this one next one is a little bit faster Perger with 360 megabytes per second the same speed is not enough after one second is it's interrupted Next one is the same brand, but like a pro one, 700 megabytes per second. It lasted like four seconds only. Next one is like top of the, the brand Perger, one terabyte. Sustainable write is 1300 megabytes per second. It wrote me like one minute, 56 seconds and the, it was 39 celsius degree the hottest part is here i'm like trying i was trying to find the hottest spot after it interrupted okay you can see but this card it's it's working very strange sometimes it can be slower sometimes it can go more but I don't I can't trust these cards on the video you can see on the photo there is no problem later I will describe what's about photo next one transcend they write let's see like write speed 1000 megabytes per second but this is like top speed not as sustainable in the trash is it it has only seven seconds 
of the best quality and then stopped. Next one. Next one is ProGrade. They write 1700 megabytes per second, but you, it's a read speed. And it was interrupted after one second. Next one. The first card who was full with video file is Lexar Professional. It have two minutes, 50, 54 seconds, and it was the hottest one. 51 degrees Celsius. Imagine if you have this card, like 256 gigabytes, it will be more in temperature. Next one. Belkin device, 500 gigabytes. They say write, write speed 105, 1500 interrupted, like two seconds. I hate when companies write like speed, but it can't handle this one. I hate that. This is bad card. Uh, right speeds here, the same bad card. This is tricky one. They write the correct ones, but you can see it's not so good. For that, I don't write that they are bad because they are they are writing the truth. How they are, how the speed is okay. Let let's go to the next one. It's the same brand here, the performance was the same. It wrote only six seconds and five gigabytes. It was a file size. Next one. Sandisk Extreme Pro. They write that write speed is 1200 megabytes, but it lasted only two seconds. For me, they're liars very bad I hate that when companies do it next one is Hoodman Steel it write full full card 2 minutes 54 seconds it was 40 degrees like I think very good result next one is AV Pro C they just write, I think, read, read speed, but it was, it was full, 11 minutes and 2 seconds, and 35 degrees Celsius. After 7 minutes and 30 seconds, 20-30 seconds, approximately camera show in display that card is hot. It was very weird because after each each test I leave the camera to rest and this is the, for the first time when the camera show the hot I think it's a some timeout because here after two minutes it was much much hotter and no warnings for me the winner from all my cards is this one liars you can see here 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 and the hottest card was Lexar. Be careful when you buy cards for video, for video purposes. I think uh, you must be careful. For video, for videos, oh sorry, for photos, you don't care. I will explain why. Because one raw photo, it's weight about 50 megabytes and your buffer camera buffer can last 50 seconds you imagine you can one minute to shoot with 20 frames per second and it, it it's trying in the same time to write in a card but the first it's right in the buffer in video mode it's directly writing to the card not using the buffer and this means when your card is not so fast it will fool the 
camera's buffer and then we'll try slowly to empty it right into the card. This means if you're not taking burst mode like five minutes in all your situations all everything will be okay but in video mode you see that a, a lot of cards are lying for you what you need because you can look oh this is my writing speed and here is like wow it's good it's 1200 you, I can buy it but it lasts only two seconds you can set the quality lower in a camera uh, and the result will be better I especially put the best video quality to check which cards uh, can't can't run in the writing speeds for me it's very interesting test if you like it just subscribe I will try I will try make new new test when, a, when new cards arrived but this show me that only one card from all my can write full some of the cards will be very hot if I buy the same line like a professional two times capacity of this one I don't think that I think this degrees will be much higher be careful because you can lose your data and this was interesting how the camera shows that card is hot but it was not so hot I don't know where they put the sensors or it's timeout interesting okay thanks